Work as an input display? That's cool. I didn't know that. I'm not a fan of PS4 controllers, unfortunately. I've tried that. That's what I- that's what I started running this game on, actually, yeah. That was a long time ago. That I used PS4 controllers, I mean. Signy, congrats! Do you have any wisdom for us, Signy? Alright, new trick time. I'm not close enough. I'll get it next time, guys. <laughs> I mean, Signy deserves it. Go for it, Pain Train. My hands are not happy. Oh, wait, I think I did see that one time. So I was trying to get an input display for my Switch, and I saw something about how an adapter might let you do that, but I couldn't get it to work on Switch. I should probably, like, stretch my hands. Okay. This is the one, obviously. Dean, did you just say anime splits? Yeah, me and Sophie are becoming anime split users. I'm evicting you. Damn it. Dean makes a good point. I, uh... I, uh, I'm getting shoulder surgery and I am going to need another person. For the period after that. So I can't have Victor yet. So maybe I'm not sure what that means, but thank you. PlayStation on original Xbox. Interesting. That's cool, though. What do you do on Xbox? Sorry, Signy. Maybe next time. You'll get him next time. Yeah, I use D pad. There are people who use analog. Um, I started running it on analog because I mean, like, that's just what you try to do, and then I quickly realized that, like, the out of bounds tricks suck with analog. Or at least I think they do. And so I switched to D pad. I think a lot of people feel that way, but also, I, it might it might also be different if you're doing, like, inbounds. It might feel different. It also probably depends on what system you're on. I started on PC, so that might contribute to why I think analog sucks. I know quite a few people who are running it on Dreamcast and using analog.
Not losing the run. Not losing the run. Not losing the run. There we go. Weird 6th gen movie games? Well, here, this is perfect for you. Oh wait, you said something about a cast, and I didn't actually get to read the message because something else happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is time loss. Because I went for the risky strat and didn't get it. I forget that Dreamcast is 6th gen. Isn't Dreamcast 6th gen? It's just, it didn't survive long enough to make it to the time when the other ones came out. Because the Saturn was the one that was like 5th gen with N64 and PS1. Um, but what's weird, and this is where I was going with that, I forget it's 6th gen because a lot of the games that I think of are games that also came out on PS1, which, you know. <laughs> it shouldn't have been coming out on both those systems at once. Yeah. And on PS1, I mean, it, 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 it looks awful on PS1 compared to this. But the game is definitely made for that. It's made for uh, a D-pad. Um, Disney Racing Tour, Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour is also on PS1 and Dreamcast. It was made by the same people as this. <laughs> then there's Space Channel 5, that's true. DC and PS2 makes much more sense. Uh, wait one sec. Ah, uh, yeah, so the leaderboard split between PC and console because the PC version has, uh... Okay. For a while, there were, there were only console-exclusive tricks. At this point, we do have some PC-exclusive ones as well, as well. Um, PC is overall faster because it has faster loads. Um... And, like, at first it was separated because there were a few tricks that were only possible on console, and so... Uh, I don't know why that was decided, to be completely honest, but it was, and so that's how it's been ever since. And then... At this point, like I said, we have a few tricks that are now, um... PC exclusive. But basically the big difference is in, like, how the tricks work. Um, there's some spots that you can clip through walls here in places that are kind of hard to reach, like places they don't expect you to reach. You have to go out of your way to reach them and do some hard jumps and stuff. And you can, there's no collision there on PlayStation and Dreamcast, but on PC they seem to have realized that that was a problem and they fixed it. So there's there's quite a few of those actually. Um, some that are useful in runs and some that aren't. But that was like the big thing that at first was why they were divided I think is because of those uh, hard to reach wall clips that they patched on the PC version. And it really it comes down to preference. Um, I started on PC because that's what I played as a kid. And like I said, PC is faster. Actually, at the time it wasn't faster. Hardly anybody ran PC when I when I started, but at this point, like, it's been a lot optimized and PC is 
faster by a few minutes actually or a couple minutes a minute or two um there's just differences in like how movement and camera works and stuff uh Well, that's probably the run. On PC, the camera does not follow you. You have to move the camera if you want the camera to move. On console, every time you roll, the camera snaps behind you, and I really like that for getting better movement. Because when you give me too many degrees of freedom, I struggle. I struggle with 3D games just in general because I uh, have a hard time with straight lines. So the fact that I can just like let go of the D-pad and it'll go straight is really awesome. On PC though, you have a lot more control over the camera, and that can be good too. Like you can you can adjust the camera while you're rolling on PC, and you can't do that on Dreamcast. Um, and so actually, when I first started learning console, that's what I really hated is that I couldn't use the camera to adjust my my movement. Um, so it really just like comes down to what you prefer, and how much like you know the extra couple minutes matter to you. Thanks, Sigby. No, you're fine. You're not chatting too much. I know too much about this game, and I am happy to tell anybody who wants to know. That was smooth. Yeah, exactly. That's a good summary of DC. I need to stop looking at chat during levels. Uh, there's PC alternatives. I guess I should say that. At this point, we have, like, alternatives. The alternatives are possible on PC and console, for the most part. Like, it's not like they're PC exclusive, but they are, uh... Just different things you can do that maybe aren't quite as fast. Uh, but it does the same thing. Because in all levels, the big clips are... Well, if you're doing inbounds, it really doesn't matter at all, because you're not doing clips. If you're doing out-of-bounds, all levels out-of-bounds, then, um, the big areas are... Um, there's a wall clip that you do in Ancient Castle. And now there's another corner clip you can do. And then in, um, Fight Factory, there's a part where you use a box to, like, roll over the top of the level. And now there's a, an enemy clip that you can do, so. All is not lost, but, you know, it is something to consider. What was that? Also, if this reminds you of Spyro, you, you should see all puppies. In all puppies, you have to get all the puppies and they all have their own little voice line. It's very Spyro. Unfortunately, they're unskippable. That part's not very Spyro. That was really close to not working. Yeah, the uh, original Dreamcast controller is really strange. If I remember, I can show it after the run for anybody who's not seen one. Um, and like I said, Retro Fighters makes a new Dreamcast controller, like one that you can plug into your Dreamcast directly. I don't like the D-pad on it though. Which is like really important for running a game with D-pad. Spyro? Spyro, we've summoned you. Oh yeah, Thermal Square was running in it. Actually, something I find really cool is that when I see 
Koi 2 runners run this game. Um, when they get to the part, like, the final boss fight, you have to- you have to shoot things with lasers. When they get to that part, they are so, so good at hitting things. Like, normally new runners struggle with that a lot. It can be hard to aim. No, Toy 2 runners have it down. I just think it's funny how that transfers over. I need more transferable speedrunning skills. I don't believe that. That was questionable. Maybe it wasn't. I went too fast, and now I can't get the ice. Now there's an ad, so I'm gonna avoid saying anything important. Except to Signy. Signy, are we talking about in your game or in real life? Real life. Do you think you have the skills for that? So here's my concern, Signy. What's gonna happen... What's gonna happen when, like, the ataxia gets you and there's a huge power vacuum? Like, I feel like that's a... a, a problem for political stability, you know? You're next in command. You will have a firmly delineated command structure. <laughs> yeah, not to put pressure on you to uh, do the laser part really well. No pressure at all. stuck. What was that? I mean, the manip works, so I guess we're good, but, like, it got stuck. Porky! I don't like that she threw that. That's kind of mean. G-L-G-L. It's kind of time loss for nothing I did. Porky, thank you for the good luck. Thank you for the 17 months. How's it going? How have you been? I need the good luck at this point because I just lost four seconds because Corella decided to throw a balloon. I'm not doing the soldier thing. I hate it. Very much. And it sucks. Liverick, thank you for the follow and thank you for blessing the run. Oh, come on. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Um, so what I use for Dreamcast is, uh, so Dreamcast could output VGA. 
So I have just like a thing I plug into the VGA port that uh, converts it to HDMI. And it works pretty well. I mean, this is good video signal. I have a retro tink and I tried to get it to like make the Dreamcast look good and I just could not. So that's when I started looking into other options and I found that and it works great. Why did I do that? Well, we'll come back around to that one. I don't like this. Four choices were made. The thing is that actually would have been pretty good. A few inbounds runs. The return. Hey, you want to come over to uh, the, the console side and try to get a 22 time with us? <laughs> you refuse? It's been so long since I touched PC, I'm starting to think I need to, just to see what I could do with it. I just like movement better on console. I've I've gotten used to like not having to worry about straight lines. Like I just roll and I it goes straight and I don't have to touch anything and I like that. But at this point, I could probably improve my PC times a lot. Like, my PC out-of-bounds is barely sub-20. From what I remember. You know, we're back in this position. I don't know if this is an earlier cycle than I got in my PV. Please don't kill me. Thanks. I liked PC camera until I tried this and then I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I don't have to constantly adjust. Like, I point the dog in the right direction and I press roll and I release the D-pad and it's great. It also makes blind rolls possible because the camera just turns for you. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Woo! Okay. I can do this. Where is that ball? I was so worried about that ball! I was so worried about that. It showed up at like the last moment. Holy cow. It's a 22! 
It's a 22. It wouldn't have been a 22 without that new trick, though. That kind of... it... it... yeah. The new trick kind of made that possible. Thank you guys for the GGs. Roby, Bandit Yoshi, Peen Train, Porky, Izzy, Stokely, Rye, Shellasaur, Liverick, Spyro. Don't worry, <laughs> All our puppies are safe, and the police will make sure that it feels like cheating. Like yesterday, I was doing it without the new trick, and then today we decided that it was legal, and so I did it with the new trick, and then here we are. <laughs> Jen, thank you. That's some golds. I mean, it could be lower, that's the crazy thing, like... My time lost throughout the run. Honestly, I didn't have that much time lost throughout the run, like, it wasn't that bad. But, um, I've had a lot better paces. That's the thing. If you have a really good pace, then you get really nervous, and then it doesn't happen. It's a world record. You guys were here for the world record. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Uh, it's the thing that I posted in the in the Discord, Porky. So technically, if if everybody decides, like if everybody decides right now to go and vote that that trick should not be allowed, um, then I can't submit this run. So there's that. Um, but I was doing it under the assumption that it would be allowed since the vote seemed pretty pretty sure. So we'll see, though, if it stays sure. <laughs> Hi, Vimeo. Here, let me show it. Let's see what you guys think. So this, this category is called All Levels Inbounds, right? Um... This category is called All Levels Inbounds, and you got 25... 18 no Hello there puppy name's Waddlesworth well That's so unfortunate Hi Waddlesworth That's so unfortunate Um so this category is called all levels inbounds There's a trick that we use in out of bounds called gate clip where you clip into the top of the rock to get to the gate Um and so like I said, like in in out of bounds, we do a, it's actually a clip. Like you clip into it through the top. But Abuka found a way to touch the loading zone from outside, and so I think a lot of people are agreeing that it should be uh, considered an inbounds trick because you can activate it from inbounds. Like you are fully inbounds, but if you go parallel to this gate and turn, you hit the loading zone and go through it. So I guess, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's inbounds? Let's get a poll in chat. Let's get some thoughts and opinions. GB, is that the time retimed? Uh, or maybe if, maybe if you submit it and we retime it, maybe we'll discover that it's actually a 24. 